begin tonight with tense and emotional testimony in day one of the trial against the mother of the Oxford High School shooter. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. We heard from four witnesses today. A teacher who was one of the shooting victims, the assistant principal, the gun store manager who sold the weapon, and an ATF special agent. Now, Jennifer Crumbly did not take the stand today, but is expected to do so at some point during the trial. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig was in the Pontiac courtroom today and explains how day one played out. Prosecutors tried to show the jury through a number of videos that Jennifer Crumley was very much aware of her son's experience with guns as well as access to them. Posted, uh, I believe there's an Instagram story that said Ethan and James Crumley both got handguns this week testing them out at the range. ATF Special Agent Brett Brandon testifying about videos Jennifer Crumley posted to social media about her 15-year-old son at the gun range with his father, James Crumley, who took the videos and sent them to her via Facebook. So the first video, uh, the shooter's shooting the kel pistol. The jury is deciding Jennifer Crumley's fate on four counts of involuntary manslaughter for the murders of Tate, Hannah, Madison and Justin, who were all shot and killed by Crumley's 15 year old son on November 30th, 2021 at Oxford High. Mom and Sunday testing out his new Christmas present. My first time shooting a nine millimeter. I hit the bullseye. Prosecutors have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Jennifer Crumley was grossly negligent in ignoring her son's mental health issues and also allowed him easy access to the gun prosecutors say was bought for him and failed to say anything about that gun when school officials showed her a drawing of it hours before the shooting. Her son writing on the paper, the thoughts won't stop. Help me. She immediately began to downplay and downright lie about her level of knowledge of her son and that weapon, and that drawing. She did not have it on her radar in any way that there was any mental disturbance that her son would ever take a gun into a school, that her son would ever shoot people. I lock eyes with him, and I instantly see that movement. The first person to take the stand today was Molly Darnell, a teacher at Oxford High who survived being shot. I texted my husband, I love you, active shooter. Um, and then I started feeling blood dripping down my arm. While we were allowed to show Jennifer Crumley and her son at the gun range three days before the school shooting, we were not allowed to record the surveillance video from inside Oxford High during what can only be described as 10 minutes of hell. Ethan then came into closer view and I could tell it was Ethan. When the assistant principal was testifying is when Jennifer Crumley began to sob. Prosecutors asked the judge to instruct her and her attorney to stop showing so much emotion. Defense attorney Shannon Smith fired back. We're doing our best. We were not sobbing or making a scene. Jennifer Crumley will be taking the stand in her own defense, but first up tomorrow, the prosecution continues with their witnesses. In Pontiac, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Okay, Kim, thank you.